pull. What is up everyone? Welcome to Target Focus Life. My name's Steve and today I have the Benelli Nova and the Benelli Supernova pump shotgun. So if you're looking for a detailed and in-depth review, you've come to the right place. Let's go. So today we are talking about the Benelli Nova and Supernova shotguns. Before we get there, I want to draw a quick attention to the description of this video. I have several links and discount codes to a lot of the different products I use like Axle Hearing Protection, ESS iPro, Carlson's Choke Tubes, and so many more. So if you're ever interested in any of the things that I'm using, make sure you check out the description. Also, how about this? It's a TFL hat. If you'd like to get a TFL hat, there's two ways. One, you can get one for free with the purchase of a Firm Reads, or you can just buy one. If you don't need the shotgun, you can just buy the hat. That's at Reads. Link also in the description for that. Enough talking, let's get into the review. The Benelli Nova Pump Shotgun. I'm gonna be going through both of these at the same time. They're basically two variations of the same gun, but I know a lot of you folks are gonna have questions. What are the differences? And to be frank, I even had questions. I sort of thought that the Benelli Nova was just a three inch gun, and I thought the Supernova was a three and a half inch version of that gun. I was a little ignorant, a little naive, but now that I've shot both guns and done the research, I'll tell you the differences. Let's jump into the specs of these shotguns, starting with the MSRP, Manufacturer Suggested Retail Price. The Benelli Nova has a MSRP of 449. The Supernova is 559. So $110 more for the Supernova. Now I know your question is, well, is it worth it going from the Nova to the Supernova? We're going to break all that down in this video, but I do want to point out that I got both of these guns for less than MSRP at Reed's, my favorite sporting good retailer. So if you do end up looking to make a purchase, I'm just saying they're worth checking out. These guns are eight pounds right off the bat. That is a hefty 12 gauge shotgun, eight pounds. Uh, a lot of the guns that I've shot and really liked are in that seven range, positive of being a little heavier is potentially a little less felt recoil. We're gonna definitely put that to the test as we move on. Both of these guns have 28 inch barrels, but Benelli has options, whether it's 24, 26 or 28 on the Novas. The length of pull on this shotgun is 14 and 3 eighths. That's the distance from the trigger to the butt end of the gun. And for me, that's a pretty good length of pull. I'm just under six feet, 5'11", 3 quarter plus strong. <laughs> and length of pull wise, yeah, I'm about a finger and a half width. I definitely wouldn't want it any shorter. Um, now, one thing to point out is these are neutral cast, but you can actually adjust on the Supernova with shims. This comes with shims. You can adjust your cast, your drop, some of those things. Where on the Nova, you don't have the ability to do that. Actually, the stock and the receiver are molded into one piece. These Novas, they have a, a steel, I believe, or a, some type of metal frame with a polymer overcoat, making them durable and weather resistant, yet uh, very, very strong shotguns. Both of these guns come with three chokes, your standard improved cylinder, mod and full. Let's take a look at the triggers and see what we're pulling here. Actually, first, I'm just gonna feel this trigger out. Kinda tough, it's a little spongy, a little pre-travel. Yeah, that, that's a little heavier than I thought it would be. Let's put the scale on it, got my Wheeler scale here. I honestly thought they would be lighter. We're definitely into the sevens. At least seven pounds, we might be pushing eight on this. Seven pounds, keep pulling, eight pounds. Oh my gosh, eight pounds, 13.4 ounces. Here we go, pull number two. Oh, eight pounds, 10 ounces. So average of those two pulls, we're at eight pounds, 12 ounces. Let's pull the Nova here. See what we end up with. Seven pounds, 7.6 ounces. Let me feel this one. That feels heavier than that. Eight pounds, 5.5 .5 ounces. Let's try that one more time. 
on the Nova. Seven pounds, 15.9 ounces. So we're at eight pounds there. Wow. Both these triggers over about right at eight pounds, eight plus pounds. Kind of surprised by that, to be honest. You know, Benelli has a name in shotguns. They're kind of known to be these quality guns. Um, how much is marketing, how much is true? I'm gonna let you decide that, but uh, I definitely expected better triggers in these guns right off the bat. That's a quick look at the specs of these shotguns. Let's dive into ergonomics. Ergonomics is the look, the feel, the function, starting with just the Nova. I just like to see how the guns feel in my hands. The grip down here feels okay. I mean, this texture, look at that, it's quite a bit different than what you see in a lot of guns, just it's got these cutouts. I know how practical the grip is, but it feels all right. The forearm feels kind of chunky. Like it feels good up here, but I can't pump up there. Like if I were to do that, look how my arm is like way extended. Like I want my arm here. It's chunky. Now I thought the ergonomics would be the exact same between these two guns, but they're actually not. If you come take a close look here, if you look at the grips, it's actually, this just has these cutouts, just indents, where this is kind of quite a bit different. For sure they like the Supernova better. When it comes to the forearm though, there is virtually no difference. Uh, we're gonna point out some differences on the receivers. Uh, you can see just quite a bit different design. Trigger guard, quite a bit different design. We look at the trigger guard of the Nova. It's relatively small. We got the cross bolt safety on front. Slide release is right here. Can't say I love the slide release. It's kind of a pain to get to and kind of leaves a nice indent in your finger when you have to press it. Well, let's take a look at the Supernova. It's quite a bit bigger inside, quite a bit different shape. Cross bolt safety still on the front. The release is still the same place. But I'm gonna hold these up, side by side comparison. Look at those trigger guards. These are eight pound guns, so I'm gonna put them down uh, just as far as balance. It's probably a little front heavy, yeah, as I suspected. It's not terrible, not as bad as some pump shotguns, but yeah, you know, balance is pretty decent. Both of them have these raised vented ribs. Both of them have a mid bead with a huge fiber optic front bead. I don't prefer a fiber nearly that big. It catches my eye. I want my focus downrange. I want it on the target. I like the loading port. They got a nice polymer edges that are kind of rounded, not overly aggressive, fairly easy to load. Although you got to get it a ways in there. You can see this plastic piece here actually covers the follower. To get a shell in there, you got to go past that. So if you had big bulky thumbs, I don't have huge thumbs, but if you had Jerry Mitchell -like type thumbs, you probably wouldn't like this gun. It bit my thumb. Oh. Did you see that... how she stuck her thumb in there? Look, I... okay. <laughs> we know you got sausage thumbs, Jerry. <laughs> if you don't know what I'm referring to with the Mitchell -like <laughs> thumbs, you're gonna have to go watch a video called Their Lightning Speed Blew Me Away. Uh, it's on the Target Focus Life channel here featuring Jerry and Lena Mitchell, -like, two of the fastest shooters in the planet. On the planet? in the universe on the planet. There we go. <laughs> Something else to point out difference between these two guns are the stocks. The Supernova has the Comfort Tech stock. It has the comb piece here, which is a little bit softer than this plastic, but not much softer. It has the chevrons that are supposed to help redirect recoil. And it's got the different pad on back, the Comfort Tech pad, where if you look at the Nova, just very basic stock, nothing fancy going on here, just hard plastic with a rock hard recoil pad. Man, I, I don't know what makes that a recoil pad, but it's, it's hard. Where if we look at this one on the Supernova, see how that flexes when I push down. One other thing to like about the Supernova is that you can actually put the shims, it comes with shim kits. So between the receiver and the stock, that allows you to just drop and cast. Where the Nova is just that one piece that I kind of called out earlier, no adjustment there. So just a lot more basic version here. Uh, if you like the Nova, you're only gonna like the Supernova more. There's no reason I don't think that you wouldn't like this more. Just looking at the differences between the two other than price. Maybe you don't wanna spend an extra $110. That would be the only reason. And by the time we get to the end of the video, I'll tell you if I would spend the money. Out of my hard earned money shooting guns for a living, which is a hard living. I mean, somebody's gotta do it. 
I don't feel any sympathy, I know. I can just hear the comments already. One last thing to talk about with ergonomics is both of these have a feature that allows you to take a shell out of the chamber without taking it out of the magazine. So if we wanna do that, I have to hit the slide release and then push this button on the fore end. Check it out, this shell came out, but as I come back forward, the other shell was not lifted in which is really cool because what I used to have to do without that sweet feature is bring it down, kick the shell into my hands, and then bring it back forward. That feature doesn't thrill me. It might thrill you. Leave it in the comments down below if you really like that. Let's jump into recoil and reliability. This is one of my favorite segments. One, because I get to shoot. Two, because I don't like recoil all that much and I get to tell you guys which guns have a lot of recoil. Eight pound gun here. I wouldn't imagine this has a ton of recoil. Let's get them loaded up. I'm gonna shoot a baseline test with the Nova, just three shots. Just kind of feel it. Pretty much straight back into the shoulder. A little bit more recoil than I thought, but to be fair, I've done a few other reviews today. I shot some guns that really beat the tar out of me, so my shoulder might be a little sensitive right now. That didn't feel bad at all though. We're gonna tell a lot about recoil when it comes to speed shooting at the end of the video, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Nova, okay, Supernova. Maybe slightly better on the Supernova. I mean, it's gotta be, where are those all turkey loads? This is why my shoulder hurts. Thank you, sir. Let's go Nova first. Oh my goodness. Ugh. But now my shoulder's gonna be sore for this one. I can't tell, honestly. Pump guns generally have more recoil, felt recoil, than a semi-automatic. The way the semi-automatic is using the gases or capturing inertia lessens the felt recoil. These just hurt shooting turkey loads, but I know most of you aren't buying these guns to shoot turkey loads. I just did that to see if I could tell if there's a difference between recoil between the two. Honestly, I can't. But what I'm gonna do when I get to speed shooting is I'm gonna alternate between these two and just see if I can naturally shoot one of them better. When I'm not really thinking about recoil, just can I shoot one of them better? So with that said, let's quickly break these guns down. We're gonna take a look at build quality. I think this is a very sturdy platform, very well built, uh, engineered well. Maybe I don't like some of the ergonomics and things, but yeah, very solid, what you would expect from Benelli. Let's go ahead and break this gun down. To do that, fore end cap off. And actually a cool thing about this fore end cap is it has a little nubbin or a little nipple on it, I suppose, uh, <laughs> that you can use to push these pins or at least get them started. Now, you do gotta keep track of these pins and which is which because one of them's actually shorter than the other. The shorter one is the rearward one. Now, one thing I just realized is I was supposed to take the barrel off before the trigger guard comes off. I got all excited about the foreign cap that has the nipple. Take the barrel off. We'll set that aside here. The trigger guard will pop right all out. Basic, simple design. I had to push up on the slides a little bit to get it disengaged from the bolt because these slides go into little channels, little grooves on the bolt. The forearm and the slides come off. The bolt is the only really tricky thing I don't think it's that tricky, but if we grab the front and the back, you wanna pull straight out, but you gotta kinda of twist just a little bit to get it out. So Benelli is known for simple designs, yet effective. This is no different. This receiver looks very solid, very well built. Simple design, not a lot of things that can go wrong, but holy cows. You know, sometimes you grab a end. There's not a lot of material here, you see, and you, usually there's some flex. I mean, this is rigid, that is solid, that is not <laughs> going anywhere. So pretty impressed with it, very basic, simple design, but simple and effective is often the way to go. Wish that trigger was a little softer, however. Anyways, let's put it back together. There we go. Fore end and slide can go on. There's little channels that these go in, pretty obvious where they go. Just a matter of getting them on there. We'll slide the bolt forward. I mean, it's so simple and obvious. I put together a different pump shotgun today after review. It took me forever. It was just not intuitive. There was a lot of moving pieces that would come out. This is simple. One thing I always have loved about Benelli 
is their designs are simple and generally intuitive. Pins only go one way. And then it's just a barrel. Easy breezy. We're back shooting. But enough talking. Let's put these Novas to the test. See how fast they can run, how fast I can shoot down three clays. In this test, I'm looking at things like recoil. I'm looking at operation. I'm looking at mounting, balance, all the things coming together to quickly execute. One thing to point out with this test is I'm gonna be alternating back and forth between the Supernova and the Nova. You might not see that because if I don't successfully get the shot, we're not gonna waste your time and show it to you. Uh, but basically I'm gonna do this just to go back and forth, see if I notice any significant differences and see if I can get it faster with one gun over the other. So heads up on that. Got it first with the Nova. But I'm gonna admit something. I've been struggling a lot. A lot of trouble getting on these clays. My hand is sliding off this. I try to pump aggressively. I'm trying to go fast and I'm often sliding right off. Trigger's tough. Heavy trigger, it's causing me some problems. And the grip of this forend is nice up here, but that's way too far for me to grab the gun. I like a grip back here, and I do not like the grip back here. I'm used to shooting a lot of semi-autos and over-unders, and I hold the finger like this. Can't do that on a pump. So it's just, it feels unnatural for me, but if I get my thumb there, there's an indent, and that is helpful. First one with the Nova, and the score was a 170. But what I really wanna look at is how long did it take me to get three shots? So time between shot one and shot three, so three shots, 0.69. That's not terrible, but it's not great. In fact, uh, on a review I was doing earlier, I was shooting one of the cheapest pump shotguns on the market, and I was able to shoot that fast. So, kind of would like to be able to shoot this a little bit faster. Let's see if I can pick it up. I don't know how many attempts in we are. I've just stuck with the Supernova now for a while to see if I can get it. I haven't got it once. I don't know how Tom Knapp ever did multiples with this gun. It is so awkward to hold one-handed. Okay, I had to slow it down a little bit to get it. I just could not run this gun super fast. It's a 167.99 to get on it. And then from shot one to shot three, we got 0.68. So moderately fast, I don't feel all that great about it. it. Took me a long time to get there. That was one of the things, is I shot a lot of rounds just to accomplish two scores between these guns. Um, definitely not an ideal gun for me to shoot that way. If we're just talking shooting off the machine, you know, I don't think, I think they're just fine. If you're doing a little duck hunting, a little clay shooting, a little pheasant hunting, and you want to run a pump gun, yeah, it works just fine. Why not? Yeah, I like it just fine. It's a fine pump shotgun. Very well built. I think it's solid, it's simple, just like you would expect out of a Benelli. It's moderately comfortable to shoot. Um, I said at the beginning of the video though, I would tell you if it's worth the money between the two. First of all, I can never tell you if it's worth the money. <laughs> yeah. Because that's such a subjective thing. Like what's worth it to one person isn't worth it to another. And that's the thing with a lot of my videos is I'm just sharing what I'm observing. It's really up to you guys to decide best for the money and what's worth it. You know, if you say, hey, this gun's a thousand bucks, but this one's 16, is, is it worth it? It depends. Do you like the features? You know, do you, depends, right? On um, the certain factors. But if this was a gun that I really liked and wanted to go with and I could justify the added dollars, yeah. I like the, the Supernova, um, the little added features. I could care less about three and a half inch. So if that's important for you, maybe go with the Supernova. But if, you know, budget's super important and you can't justify those added dollars, I'm just as happy shooting this. Recoil was negligible. If you need to make some adjustments, it's really nice that you got the shims uh, to be able to do that on the Supernova. Both the triggers are kind of mediocre to crummy. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, didn't love them. Uh, they're bulky type guns. I wish they were a little more slender, like their Super Black Eagles or M2s. I love the grips on those. But for a pump shotgun, solid platform, definitely worth checking out. I would love to see your guys' comments down below. What other pump shotguns would you like to see me review? 
what shotguns would you like to see in shotgun showdowns? Put that down below in the comments as well. Appreciate each and every one of you. Thanks so much for watching. Remember, whether you're in the field or in life, you're only gonna hit those shots that you're laser focused on. So live target focus. See ya.